Welcome to the Windows and Computer Technology channel. And uh, what's next? This is a question I am asked quite a lot in different ways and different styles of questions. But what is next for Windows 10? Um, a lot of people are under the impression Windows 11 is here, Windows 10 is dead. Uh, it's not like that. We always have 10 years of uh, support for an operating system. So Windows 10 definitely has uh, its place and will continue having its place for the next four and a half years because it'll be at the end of 2025 that it's going to be end of support. So four and a half years left. That means, you know, you have a lot of time in your hands uh, to continue using Windows 10. There certainly are reasons why you might not want to go to Windows 11. There are reasons you might want to stay to Windows 10 that are other than just not wanting to go to Windows 11. But what is going to happen to Windows 10 during that four and a half years left? So that's not totally clear, but the fact that there's a new major version one of the things about this is the fact that usually when a new version of Windows gets uh, here, it also means that the attention turns towards the new version and the older version just gets its normal updates. So that could mean a shift in Windows 10. We had um, Windows 10 updates and we had 18 month cycles so when you actually installed a Windows version that's what happened you had these cycles that would actually give you 18 months every time you had a new version and for now it's still valid for now version 21 h1 for all I, uh, we know is going to be um, you know, retired uh, somewhere in late 2022. But that's following what we know now and what's happening now. And that could all change because what we've been hearing and that's been confirmed by a few people is that, of course, a lot of people think Windows 11 is that famous 21H2 with Sun Valley. 21H2 is Windows 10. Windows 11 is Windows 11. It's a, a different operating system. It has Sun Valley in it. Some of the features and the rounded edges and all of that is Sun Valley. And that's in Windows 11. Will Windows 10 have part of that? Uh, it's not clear. But one thing that seems to get clearer, we are now with 21H1 at two cumulative updates. So two small updates to bring Windows 10 to a new version. They still want to say that this is a new feature update, but in reality, more like a service pack, really nothing new or almost nothing new every time. And people kind of enjoy this because it makes these versions easier to manage than big updates and even better than two full huge updates every year. The next version of Windows 10 is 21H2, and it's still a thing, and it's still being worked on for the fall. Now, what might have shifted is that it might go from a big feature update that we thought we would have to a small cumulative update again, meaning small update once again. And so... The logic between what's going to happen is usually when you have a big major version, you can't focus on two versions and have major uh, features on two versions of Windows at the same time. Which tends to make us think that Windows 10 is going to go on through 2025 and it's going to be quieter. It's going to be bug fixes. It's going to be security updates on Patch Tuesday and maybe some cumulative update that updates and changes some of its features or, you know, but not a lot like we are now. And that maybe big feature updates are not the future anymore of Windows 10. Uh, it's still technically Windows as a service, but, but in a different way now, since Windows 11 will be arriving this fall, possibly. 
So at least you can say that if it is maintained just by bug fixes and cumulative updates and, you know, the security updates of Patch Tuesday with no more big updates, um, actually people might be happy like that and might be happy to just continue using Windows 10 rather than going to Windows 11. Uh, but there's a lot of unknowns of what's left for Windows 10, starting with Windows 11 when it's released. Uh, things probably will quiet down, and that we'll know as time goes by. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.